kind of boy Nick is. Because although I love Dad, he's a completely different creature. Yeah, there's a lot of fish in the sea, but she picked out a drunken walrus. But you and this Nick fella sound to me like the story of Pyramus and Thisbe. Which inspired Romeo and Juliet, which inspired West Side Story, which inspired me to say, Ech. Pyramus and Thisbe were lovers from ancient times. They lived next door, but their families despised each other. I don't like the Babylon, but I sure do like Babylon. Ah. The lovers had to whisper their sweet nothings through a crack in the wall. Wait a minute. Nick and I met talking through a crack between two boos. And the power of that forbidden smooch made them love each other forever. Man, that company thinks every time it adds a wisecracking parrot to a story, they own it. Talk to the wing, Thisby. Grandpa, would you help take me on a foolish romantic mission? Let me check my schedule. Yeah, this might work. I think I'm free. Tuesday's open. You got it, kiddo. Legend has it a girl named Eleanor Mackey drowned on this very spot. Now they say if you call her name three times while looking in this mirror, you will die. Millhouse? <gasps> Eleanor Mackey. Eleanor Mackey. Eleanor Mackey! Ah! Oh, give me a break. The one day the lunch lady decides to wash her hands. Okay, that was the last school myth, and it's officially cracked. So school is just everything we see? That's sad, man. Oh. You into cigars now? It's a Twix! I can't be the guy who killed everybody's fun. That's Skinner's job. Don't blame me. You killed the fun, fun killer. <laughs> Millhouse, I just figured out a way to make school cool again. American Girl doll day? You might be surprised at the number of boys who have American Girl dolls. It's not weird, because they're historic figures. <laughs> I have found one last myth to destroy. The so-called legend of groundskeeper Werewilling. Prepare to be disappointed! <laughs> Gentlemen, we just created a myth. Now there's a myth about me I'd like you to correct. I'm not from Edinburgh. I'm also not from Glasgow. I'm from Kirkwall in Orkney. My father was an uppie and my mother was a doonie. It tore the family apart. 